the object is when we know that we're about to go live, you yeah. can't go and wander the fuck off. Oh, well, I and went, do that. Well, I went in there to get a drink of water. You, well, that was the worst time to do I understand that, but you should have done that. And you got to drink. They always say, stay hydrated. Yeah, stay hydrated. Especially in the heat. It's not that hot here. No, it's stuffy. It's stuffy. Los Angeles is stuffy. Yeah, and we are nothing but a confectionery. that's not even the weather. Los Angeles I is know. just stuffy. I know. Yeah. You're an old man, Charlie Brown. What? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean Landry. I'm Summers. <laughs> and we are the Seniors Improv Comedy. And uh, we are back with another amazing show. I was in Chicago um, with the most amazing people in the world. Um, my friend Stacy Jackson, a shout out. My friend Tiffany Roberson, a shout out. My entire immediate family, immediate family, as in I was there. And the whole brood. The whole brood was there. And Brad and was there. Brad Sanders, who was on the Seniors Improv Comedy, was was with us. He flew in. Um, he also was on the latest show that's out on Netflix. So if you have not watched that. Oh, yeah, the uh, Underground Railroad. Underground Railroad. So please watch the Underground Railroad, my uh, Uncle Brad Sanders and that. He um, runs a store. He runs the store. I'm very proud of him when he was in town for my fam. And also the Annoyance Theater crew. Um, Mick Napier, that show was brilliant. Trigger Happy is an amazing show. These are my shout outs for the day. <laughs> the end. The end. And with that ending, I want to start at the beginning of talking about our next guest. Before I do that, I'd like to go and introduce the ever omnipotent, the amazingly amazing, the awesomeness of awesome. The I'm um, just repeating words back, back. Back, back. Improv God. Oh, Improv God. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Hello. How are you, Improv God? How's your week? Oh, having a great time. Loving, loving the improv. Loving the improvs all over the place. There's so much of it now. There's so much of it now, and it's so much going live, and some people are fucking it up because they haven't gotten their shot and getting everybody sick. That's not a bubble, improv. You know, improv god is international, so I'm going to start calling him Dare Improv God. Dare Improv God. Or El Improv Gato. <laughs> improv Gato, because that's American. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Rob Gott. Yeah, I would like to introduce you to somebody who I actually met um, on a child app. <laughs> I met him. What were you stalking children? What? TikTok is literally, in some cases, almost like stalking ah. children. But he had the most creative. Uh, TikTok that I had seen because he's my age and I didn't want to see young children doing young things. And he made me laugh. And then it turns out that he's an IU graduate. He's a theater impresario, especially musical theater. His bass voice is fucking amazing. And he happens to be friends with the ever so incredible Jill Soloway. Um, and then I needed to know his real name. And then we became friends. And now I'm actually seeing his face not on the child app. <laughs> and I'm very happy to go and introduce you, everybody, and Improv God, to Mr. Jeff Spencer. Hey, Jeff! Hello. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. It was so fun hey. meeting you on that child app, Webkins. I know, right? <laughs> right? That's that's scary. Club and Penguin. Club Penguin. I uh, must Club have Penguin. just missed you on Neopets. Yes, yes. Hello, Improv God. Hello, Jeff. Hello. This is the second time this week that I'm performing without pants. Oh, that's good. They say the second time is the best. It is, but it takes a little longer to get ready. That's true. You need to season I need at least 20 it just minutes. a bit first. Yeah. You got to powder the thighs. Or the chafing is terrible. Mm. Did we lose audio? No, we didn't. I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it all. I in. can't see anything without. Hold like, hold hold well, I, I did improv God. I did make some uh, preparation because I haven't 
done improv for a long time. So I, I took the liberty of, oh. I know you're supposed to make it up at, at the time, but I wrote some funny lines that we might uh, be able to use. I've got uh, a couple here. That's, you that's call excellent. that a horse? Uh, oh, I see you're a professional. And do you have veal parmesan? I thought those were all really funny. That, the, any one of those could be a mic drop moment. You know, the yes. right the right build up, the right crowd. I think. So just let me know when to drop those in. We're not on yet, are we? Well, oh, we are. Okay. Yeah, oh, we're, okay. we are. Never mind. You didn't hear that. No, you didn't hear Bill Parmesan at all. No. <laughs> Because that, that really ruins the organic moment of improvisation. Yeah, sorry. Yes, and. <laughs> You've got the spirit. You absolutely got the goddamn spirit. Hey, improv god. Hey, yes. <laughs> on, our, on our Facebook wall, um, I'm surprised I even got suggestion because I did it so late because I didn't get into town until yesterday. But on my wall, I asked for a joyous a discussion that you could talk about for hours. Go and give me that suggestion and uh, their name so we can, of course, make fun of them. All right, um, here's a good one. Uh, I, I've got one from a Jeff Spencer. I've heard of him. He's fantastic. Is he? Oh, yes. I, need to, John, I need to keep an eye on His bill purpose, John, is delicious. He's great, he's, yeah, he's fantastic with the veal. And I, I hear he's good on children's sites. <laughs> what did Jeff Spencer have to say for himself? I swear to God, Improv World, this is not a scripted. That we are not about to go into hair. Uh, Long, beautiful. <laughs> Oz hasn't Oz hasn't seen it. That's all I'm saying. What is it? What did uh, what did what did our guest have to say for himself? <laughs> he's, he enjoys uh, stories about a game that is, you know, frequently played by children. In fact. Uh, D and D stories. He could talk for hours joyously. Oh yeah, yeah. Hours joyously about D and D. So can it I? Take, it could take uh, at least twenty minutes just to tell you about uh, when I had my zombie ex girlfriend in a bag of holding. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Don't give it. Don't give it All up right, now. No, I'll save it. I'll save it for the. Save it for the veal moment. Well, write it down. Leave it for the stream. Um, it ladies and gentlemen. We're about to go and have a Zoom dinner party on D&D. &D. Give us some bridging music. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sweetheart. I'm about to go and bring Brad into the room. Oh, no. Yeah, Brad? we're about to play D&D. &D. We're about to play D&D. &D. Oh, hey, sweetheart, you, you, you just popped in. I should have put a password on here. Hey, how you doing? I'm oh, doing great. So we're going to play D&D &D like the old days? Yeah, like got my dice right here. Fabulous. Fabulous. I don't like D and D. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Hey, so um, let's go and do it. So uh, what are which? So we're just doing straight on original classic nineteen eighty seven D and D like we used to do as kids, right? Facco. Hey. All right. Um. So are you are you dungeon master? Sure. Yeah. Okay. 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 So let's, uh, let's, let's do this. So. That's a dungeon master. I'll tell you in a minute. Nope, you can, just follow along. But, okay. Um, my character at this point, I'm, I think I'm going to be a wizard at this point. Okay. Your name? My wizard name is Hepami. Hepami? Hepami. Like uh, Hepami get this box off the top shelf? Pretty much. And you, uh, fella? What's your it's name? Joe, you know his name. No, Come on, stop it. Joe, I'm, what's I've your had name? A little too much mead today. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Uh, oh, I got to be a character. Um, um, yeah. Um, uh, 
I, I no, I couldn't be that. Uh, oh, 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 I got it. Uh, no, that's stupid. Um, uh, I'm a homeless guy. There's not really very many homeless guys. And that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can roll with that. You're a homeless can, guy. Can, can, he be, can he be like an elf or something? A homeless. Uh, he's elf? an elf, an elven homeless guy. Elven all the homeless. Stats, all of his stats are five. Yes, you are. You are literally rolling a low five. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Okay. So, you you please help the elf. No. The scene is set. You're approaching the castle. The drawbridge comes down, and there's a dank smell coming from within. What do you do? Take a shower. No, oh. I, if, if I if I smelled bad, I, I would probably take a shower. You know, if it's me, now, I don't know if it's me. It could no, be, you're could a homeless be. elf. Oh, that's probably me. That's probably me. I'd take a shower. All right, um, would... roll for it. Roll for it. You here? I have our dice here. Oh, okay, Video. okay. Oh, um, uh, does the one that went on the floor count? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So it's uh, uh. Five and two. I got a seven. Okay. You have successfully taken a shower. That sounds like a plan. Thank you. Do you approach the door? Well, if I've taken a shower, I want to get out of the shower. So, of course, I'm going to approach the door. You don't right, fight. Don't fight. Don't don't be belligerent. I'm not belligerent. In the, in the, you're being belligerent okay, in the game. fine. I won't be. Okay. I go to the door. Okay. There in the distance, in the darkness, you see the glint of two red eyes. What do you do? If I was on, I'm in the back in the journey with this, what I would do as- You are me, there. I am there. You what are there. I would do I am there. What I would do is I would take my magic potion and uh -huh. sprinkle it on the eyes. Okay. All right. Um, can I? Well, can I? Get I take some talcum powder and just squeeze it. You know, those cloud gets in your eyes. People start watering uh -huh. and they run away. Right, and it would probably stick to the potion. Right. Creating sort of a a gummy paste on the eyes of so the so there's the concierge of the hotel. No, you've just blinded the concierge. Oh. 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 He must have been drinking all night. That's why he had red eyes. Oh. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was hammered. Oh. Yeah. Okay, hammered. Well, I, well, may, I, may I roll for healing? Please do, yes. All right, great. There you go. I got a 20. 20, okay. So he is not only uh, completely healed, but he's actually much better looking and 10 years younger. There you go. Um, so I would like to approach him, please. Okay. He says, uh, morning. I'd like to welcome you to the Hotel Greyhawk. How many bags do you have? Um, together I have four. He has none. He's a homeless elf. Homeless? Well, we like to do outreach programs here at the Hotel Greyhawk. One room or two? We would like two because he does, he just took a shower and it's been a while. I'm clean now. But he's not clean all the time. Oh. He's a homeless elf. So we would like to have two rooms, please. All right. Sounds reasonable. That's uh, five gold pieces each. Thank you. What do we do now? Uh, you, uh, there's a stairway off to okay. the left. There's a stairway off to the left, or there's a gnome sitting in the corner whose name is Spivey Whiplash. You can talk to the gnome or you can go up the stairs. What would you like to do, homeless elf? Well, you know, uh, uh, if we, the, the gnome, they, they uh, on your lawn and they don't generally, you know, talk, they're, they're just sit there. No, you well, know. no, this is an actual, that you're thinking real time, oh, Joe. Okay. This is an actual talking, one would assume a dungeon master, that is an actual talking 
It is an oh, actual an fucking gnome. Yeah, oh, that's not yeah. a lawn gnome. That's a real gnome. Oh, that's that's a real gnome. Yeah, yeah. A gnome. I've never seen a real gnome. There, hello, you're a real gnome. Oh yeah, that's great. That's All right, so yeah. do you want to go up the stairs and talk to the gnome? Oh, I don't want to talk to him. Let's go up the stairs. Well, I'm going to set up because the gnome sounds interesting to me, Dungeon Master. So you go up the stairs, see what's up the stairs, and I'll talk to the gnome. We have okay. parted ways, Dungeon Master. Okay, that's a that's a great idea. In uh, in this game, it's always a good idea to separate the party. So that you can't yeah. help it. Oh come on, come on! It makes huh? it more interesting. Come on. What? Okay, let's let's just stop for a moment. Okay. It's more interesting to have two separate delineating stories from each other. Do you other. realize how hard that is for the dungeon master? I've got pages and pages here of of story that I have written out for this, and you've just completely screwed it up. Fun, aren't we? You were not yeah. supposed to blind the concierge. You do this every time. You do this every time. I don't know if you're still mad at me from what happened three years ago, but I'm tired of you. Did you, did you ever hear week. me? Did you ever hear me say I'm sorry? Or did you ever hear me take your apology? Did you ever hear that? Because when you killed me and gutted me and left me open and I rolled a 42, that was unfair. Yeah, you rolled a 42 on a 10-sided die. No. Clearly cheating. And you were told to bring guacamole and you didn't. Oh, you, brought, yeah. you brought store-bought cheese sauce. Oh, good goddamn well i guac i love guac guac hates me well guac is not the only one. Oh, oh ha ha dad joke oh ha ha i brought monopoly you I was hoping we could play you were like in the other room you were trying to flirt with me i remember this moment oh That's you're talking how about like well i'm talking yeah, about now i brought no, monopoly no, along no, 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 no we're gonna finish this game oh, okay. you just, don't get to just, be the hat every time well i like being the hat sometimes someone needs to be the iron thank you thank oh. you no thank you okay i now accept I your wanna... apology because you agreed I... with me about the iron okay so i am going to conclave to this game, I am going to give in. I am not saying the fucking no. Okay. I am going up the stairs with homeless elf. Okay. I want to go talk to the gnome. All right, fine. We've changed our minds. We're going to talk to the gnome. No, maybe you're right. I think up the Jesus stairs. Jesus fucking right. This is why. What? This is what? why. This is why we want to get each other. Oh, Dungeon you know, Master. Yeah. Where would you like us to go and don't I had, say? I had a good group once. Oh, stop it. They'd follow the story. They'd roll actual dice that weren't loaded. Okay. Tell They'd us. bring guacamole, and this is what I get stuck with now. Fine, fine. You want me to get guac? You want me to get guac? We're in a yeah. fucking Zoom room. We can't do this. The next time I see you in person, because we're both fully vaccinated, I'll bring guac. I'll make guac, okay? Excellent. Now, you tell us her your story. You go the... over to Snively Whiplash and you talk to the gnome. We are talking to the gnome. Shut up. Oi, what brings you to this part of the castle? That's we... his voice. Okay, that's a, that's a good voice. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I was working on it all week. That was really good. I mean, that almost sounded English. Big gnome, though. I, Big it was gnome. supposed to be German. That was German. Huh? I I'm not good at accents. Okay, so hey, let's let's talk to the German Irish gnome. Okay, the six, foot the six foot four. We would we would we would like your assistance. Right with what? We would like your assistance in the land that you live in, and with settling into your world. Right. Well. uh You'd be best to go in uh, search of the, the magical gem of Heron. The magical the gem. Beyond the lake. Beyond the lake. I can We're show you. To... Is that the lake by the parking lot outside the hotel? Will you? Okay. That's yeah, there's a, there's, the, uh, there's a parking lot, and then there's the ice cream stand. Yeah. And then there's the lake. Oh. 
Would you like to go on this journey? Okay. We would like to go on the journey with you, English, Irish, German. Okay. Uh, All right. It's Australian. All right, now I'm going to roll to see and see if he agrees to take you. Okay, great. Uh, he doesn't. He died. Jesus Christ. He dies. He died. What he said he he's allergic. Of? He said, uh, uh, allergic. And it was the soap that the uh, elf. Hopeless man. Great. So, so he was allergic to the soap. The, the, the gnome is dead. So you've got a dead gnome. And, you have a dead gnome and the staircase. And the staircase or the uh, newly handsome concierge. And the newly, what I would, a half of me would like to try to revive the English Irish German guy. May I roll? Yep, roll for it. All right. Wow. That's a two. <laughs> Stay, guys. He, dis he disintegrates. But when he disintegrates, where he was laying, you see a golden key. And at the top of the stairs is the room with a lock. I am picking up the key. Yes. I am leading first, homeless elf. Okay. Up the stairs right. with the key. I'm finally glad you're getting into this. Are you yeah, having fun? It's nice oh, to my, see. my leg went to sleep and I was trying to wake up my leg. Oh, okay. So we're at the door. I am putting in the key and okay. I'm turning it. All right. So uh, roll uh, for traps. All right. Roll for traps. Yep. There you go. Okay, so uh, a, a, a needle comes out and uh, hits you doing uh, four points of poison damage to your hand. Wow, okay, so I have no hand uh, poison. So you hand. have a hand, it's just got a, an owie. An owie, okay. It's okay, I'll take it. No, no, what I will, I'm asking. Oh, wait a minute, can you take her hand? Yes, yeah, so he I wants can, to take I, my I can find a minister. Okay, that would be great. Okay. If you want to take her hand. Oh, the concierge, the concierge is a minister. Hello. Oh, he would like to take my poisoned hand in marriage. Yes. Do you, homeless elf, take this wizardess, help him up, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Help me. Help me. Help me. Sorry. Wouldn't be legal That's if I got their name wrong. Exactly. Do you take me as your lawfully wedded wife? Okay. He says yes. Do you help me take this homeless elf with no name to be your lawfully wedded husband? Can I roll for that? Sure. Yeah. Um, Yes, I take him. Enthusiastic. Well, Fine. You know, it's, it's, okay, it's so you half are roll. It's a half roll. You know, it's like okay. halfway, there, halfway not. You know, so right. yeah, apathetic. Yeah, I mean, right. you you know, he's gonna be not clean again eventually. I know. So it's, we just it's have a big to... decision. Yeah, yeah. I get it. You have life boy at home. Oh, oh, okay. I, I thought we we're at okay. There's only one boy for her, and that would be you. Be you. Yes, yes, King. Bring <laughs> Jeff Spencer back up. Give Hello. us that cheap.
Yeah, prom god. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't that scary now, was it? No, it was fine. What was, was I worried about? I don't even know. Just, it, be a man actor. Why worry? Be a man yeah, actor. Exactly. exactly. It, it was rolling. fun. My, my favorite moment was German, Irish. <laughs> yes. German, yes. Irish. I love, I, I love, think- I also love, I love the fact I'm like, I, I'm getting the shittiest fucking die roll. I, I love giving myself getting shitty die roll. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. There's a, there's a great uh, meme out there where somebody's rolled a one. I, I grab the orc's arm and he rolls a one. And then it says, I caress the orc gently. He looks confused. <laughs> very, very good stuff. And then they Where's get married and save the world. They get married and save the world. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. We actually, uh, just for backstory, we did literally a rehearsal with Velvet Wells, uh, who's an African American artist. Um, and our Zoom rehearsal was D and D. Nice. He knows that. It, and I, literally, when we finished doing our rehearsal, I just went, "I wish we recorded this." <laughs> um, I know nothing about D. He knows not a damn, not thing. a goddamn thing. <laughs> It's so just I, improv with, uh, it's just improv, but with dice. It's improv with dice. That's all it is. Yeah. You and, play a character, and you make decisions. Should, and now, now you tell me. Uh, right. React and, accordingly. Uh, after all these years, that's what it is. Uh, but the guac made me happy. The <laughs> argument of guac. Me happy. I, and, it, and the truth in comedy. I love guac. Guac, guac is fantastic. It's amazing. It hates me. Avocados. And even if you just get the the little mix pouch and some avocados, it's good enough. It's it's delicious, but I need some vino with that too. Uh, Wait, did you say vino or bino? Bino. Bino. Veal? Veal? Welcome to getting old. It fucking sucks balls. Uh, It does. It does indeed. I uh, threw my back out for two weeks sitting wrong last uh, couple weeks. (laughs) (laughs) These are the good days. We did it. We did it, Jeffrey. Senior improv. We're funny. Let's do some zip zap zap before I break my back. Uh, With that, we are about to help open the shower curtain. <laughs> with that, we're gonna go into the other room and be led during summer. So, uh, you please keep your camera on. You I will. Your... I'll be watching you and laughing along. Yes, even when it's not funny. I appreciate. I will be it. laughing obtrusively. Well played. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Laughing inside. Thank you. Yeah, on the inside. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Oh, oh God. Bridging Thank you. Me. Moving over. Ba do ba do ba dum rip a bow bow bum. Ba do ba do ba dum. Bum. Ba do ba do ba dum rip a bow bow bum. Ba do ba do ba dum. We're Landry and Summers. Yes, again to Mr. Jeff Spencer. You see, when people think they can do improv, they can, especially when they're actors. And it's funny how. So I'm happy we had him. In the Zoom sense. Uh, <laughs> we do sketch in the Zoomosphere. In the Zoomosphere, we do sketch and improv comedy. Oh, I'm Prof God. Oh yes. Hey, um, on that wall of things you can, conversations you can say talk about forever. Give us one, and then we'll deconstruct it down to something. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's start very. Bird's eye view, then very broad. Uh, what very about broad. what about broad. what about very Sam broad Shaw? Uh, uh, Mr. Sam Shaw. Uh, Mr. Co- Sam Shaw was on this show. We both started the San Francisco Improv Festival, 
Sam is a, is a uh, he's doing a show tonight, I think, with a bunch of people in San Francisco. Sam Shaw is Sam Shaw. What did Sam have to say for himself? The day we conquered Hamburger Hill. The day we conquered uh, Hamburger Hill. That's Vietnam. A five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Ba do ba do ba do. Very little about him. Ba do ba do ba do. Ba do ba do ba do. Four years after I was born in '69. Boom. Ba do ba do ba do. Little child of hell. Boom. Ba do ba do ba do. In my child's eyes. Boom. Ba do ba do ba do. Did have hamburger on a big meal. Maybe some they needed hamburger. Helper. Boom. Ba do ba do ba do. With some macaroni. Ba do ba do ba do. In my child's eye mind. Ba do ba do ba do. I wonder, as a child in six and nine, will everybody be fine? Why is Richard Nixon standing on the plane and inflated? What's happening now? What about the takes? He's on a goddamn plane. He's waving us goodbye. There's Gerald Ford for that. What's going on? I'm a child. Is there a hamburger on Hamburger Hill? I want a hamburger on Hamburger Hill. I want a hamburger on Hamburger Hill. Can you come in, Mr. Williamson? Can you come in, please? I'm moving as fast as I can. I know. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go get your VA benefits here. Oh, it's a bad time. Okay. Oh, you go sit down there. Right there. I'm more than happy to have you. Good. Uh, you've been in here so often in Virginia. Yeah, well, I've been here for a while. Well, I don't have any kids. I neither do I. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right, so you were born um, uh, August 15th. Yeah. And then 1952. 1952. 52 was a good year. It was an excellent Eisenhower year. Eisenhower was an honor. 52 was a good year. Excellent year. Things okay. aren't like that anymore. No, never again. 50s were a great time. Not, not for me. Oh. All right, so let's see here. I, I would like to remind you once again I'm black. Okay, so here we go. Uh, well, I kind of assume that. I assume it all day long, 24 7. Oh, wow, well, that's great. Since I was born. Well, that's all right, I so see that. here we go. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, uh, you uh, were in, um, all right, so you're still getting benefits from that. Yeah. All right, so what are you here for exactly? Oh, well, I got this pain. That starts in my neck and goes all the way down my back and down one of the legs, and then I, I feel it in my big toe. Have you ever thought you might have sciatica? No, nah, that's a war injury. It's a war injury. Agent Orange did it to me. Agent Orange did it. Yeah. So you had the, you you were on uh, you were on Hamburger Hill. That was from May to I believe yeah. So you were on Hamburger Hill. Well, actually, I was a supply sergeant, so I came after uh, they took uh, Hamburger uh, Hill. Uh, but it was still noisy. It was loud. So it was yeah, loud. you were pretty young at the time. Yeah. 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 And so did you have that pain running from your neck to your spine uh, after you got out of uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right after that. Right after that. You're coming in now to tell me about it. Well, it used to be on the other side. Then it moved over to my right side. It's a moving sciatic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay. It's moving Agent Orange. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, You can never trust Agent Orange. Well, who can? It's not a real agent. I would like to remind you it's not a real agent. It's not? No. It's an actual it's a spray. Oh, 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 oh. Spray. I thought it was one of the Viet Cong. I, I thought this one guy, they called him Agent Orange. That's, no, that's no, what no, I thought. So what? You thought Agent Orange punched you in the back? Well, yeah, sorry, yeah. I, when I was sleeping one happened. night, exactly. Well, that's well, that's a whole different I thing. I woke up the next day. And it was, right, yeah. No. 
Yeah. I need to write that down. So it's my bunk not- mate said, you know, uh, well, who was it? He, I asked him who it was. He goes, Agent Orange. Oh, okay. So I was actually. So he <laughs> saw him. He actually saw him come in. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Being Kong. So my question to you, as someone who needs to give you Medicare, yeah, is a man, an actual man, punched you, and you've been living with this for a very long time. Well, you got a long waiting list here. You got, I signed up, I signed up, I signed up as soon as I got back from, from the war. I have been working here for three years and I have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Before you was Susie. Before that was Ruth. Wait, wait, and hold before on. Before that wait, was Bert. Bert. We weren't too sure about Bert, but he, he was, he was around the desk. Wait, let me just start from the beginning. Yeah. Here. Wow. 1969. Yeah. Yeah. I signed up then. 19. 19- one moment, let me go and get the phone. All right, jeez, you know. I bet you the person on the phone gets more service than I do. <laughs> Hello? That's the way it always works. Hello, hi. Yeah. Hi, well, one moment, it's still ringing. Yeah. I come down here, I get on a waiting list, and this person is probably going to get service over the phone. I'm just going to- That's the way the government works. I'm going to go to voicemail. All right. All right, one second. There we are. All yeah. right, at least, at least you're going to work on me instead of the person on the phone. Hello. He was probably in Grenada. Oh, it went to, it went to <laughs> He was probably in Grenada. Too bad, too sad. Grenada. Okay, let me go back to guy on the phone. <laughs> Grenada. Total Grenada. Exactly. We don't deal in sheep. Well. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> 1969. Yeah. You started. Yeah, that's, that's when I first got on the list. Yeah, then that there's 1972. That's when I checked again because I hadn't heard anything. And there's 1979. Yeah, that one I actually came to the door and they said go away. And then there's 1984. Yeah, that one I actually sent a telegram. You can I still can send telegrams. Yeah. Yeah. Telegram yeah. There yeah. It's actually pinned here. Yeah. It says, Help me. That's exactly. Nice. Yeah. Okay. No response. Right. Then, <laughs> then there's 1992. I sent an email. Yeah. That it. it wait. You were sexy man at AOL.com. Well, the other names were taken. <laughs> what other names? <laughs> Any hoozy doozy. Okay, I see the Gmail. That's your actual name. Yeah. You took yourself more seriously. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Somebody told me that you know that nobody took me seriously as the hot, sexy man. No. Yeah, well, it's yeah. hard to go and get help. I mean, literally, yeah. if I turn this back, it's just your email and no notes. Well, I was just learning how to use a computer at that point. No, I mean, and I had a tough time because the pain, it was running down my neck and all the way down my down, back, like down the leg and down out my big toe. toe. Right. It, so, occasionally it affects my hand, so I can't right, really right. type so very well. Side, it's pretty yeah. Much what is the technical yeah. term fucked up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Agent Orange did that. It was the man agent. Orange. Exactly. So, Bunk made saw him. Right, I, I, I asked me you wearing an orange suit or not. You know, in 2002, you're saying the exact same thing in this email. Yeah, exactly, time. exactly. No response, no response. Right, uh, and then I have. I um, gave my time to my country. I went over there, yeah, and I and I actually stocked up, up, you know, like on can rations for the soldiers. I made sure I had yeah, uniforms. Yeah. That's the toughest part of the war. Yeah. You wrote that in 2015. Exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> sure. Anybody can go out there with a gun and shoot. You keep the war running on time with supplies. That's the tough job. But you list nothing about the pain going from here from 2015. To well, I figured I told them enough by then. I was just hoping I did finally get to the top of the list. And then I had the final one that I got, which was 2019. Yeah. And it just says COVID. COVID's going to happen like Agent Orange. Please help me before COVID. I kind of knew. You knew. Yeah. You knew. I kind of knew. That's fucking, that's, that's insightful. I kind of knew. That's why I took your case because I ended up not seeing it until last month because yeah. of the backlog. Okay. I'm um, at the top of the list now. I'm finally getting in. What I would like to do, I'm not. I'm finally going to get a bed. You're going to get a bed. You're how old now? Let me see. Look at my record. Jeez. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. We have one more bet. Oh, good. I'll take it. It is actually the bet I was saving for my dad. Was he in Vietnam? No. Grenada? Yeah. Ah. 
he can stay at my house. I've been saving that bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's a comfy bed. It's very. It's a comfy, comfy bed. If you look up, I gotta there, have a comfy bed because I don't get a comfy well, bed. It we'll really show, hurts bad. Well, we'll go up here. Plus, also, we'll got one of those motorized ones where they go up and down like this. Oh yeah. Oh great. Yeah. True story. <laughs> we have one of those beds. <laughs> Because I have MS, we have this bed that does like literally. If we do it the wrong way, it folds in on itself. <laughs> like, it's like it's like some kind of Rube Goldberg machine for sleeping, and it's always uncomfortable, you know. And you know Hans needs it up because he snores, but it doesn't have the up and down thing that can go and do. The, so, so this thing is ridiculous, and uh, yeah. Um, I always like when Hans mentions a bed that goes up and down because our bed goes up and down because we're old and it doesn't help my feet. It just gives me more cricks in my neck. Yay, I like getting old. And that's all I got to say about that. So, so I have the bed's nice. So as long as it's comfy. It's very, very comfy. I got to have a comfy bed. I'm going to take your Right massive- now, you know what I've been sleeping on at home for the last 40 years? What? An easy boy recliner. Hell, aren't they? Well, it's because I can't sleep in the bed. When the bed's flat, it's no good. So I got a flat bed. I can't sleep in that because everything hurts. So I say, easy boy recliner. Would you like with magic fingers? Ooh. Would you like us to go and move your easy boy into your room? Well, no. If I wanted to sleep in the easy boy, I could have stayed at home. That is true. I want a government issue bed that rises up on one side and will keep me more comfortable because of what Agent Orange did to my back and it goes down to my leg and down to my big toe. Have you ever thought about getting a readjustment? Well, I tried to get a settlement for the government, but they no, would no, not no. give me any up. money at all. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Turn around. All right. Lean back. Lean back. How you feel? Hey. <laughs> hey. I don't feel the pain anymore. You mean you people could have done that in 1969 instead of me living all these years with this pain? Don't, don't bother. I was 10. I'm suing the government. How are you going to sue? I was only 10. Boom. <laughs> Mom, it's on. It's on. What's on, sweetie? It's on. What's on, sweetie? To commemorate the Memorial Day. They're showing war pictures all day long. Oh, oh, I forgot that you were going to watch this. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to be up for a couple of hours. You know, it doesn't seem quite as violent in black and white. No, it never is. The Guns of Navarone is the longest movie I've ever seen in my lifetime. Was World War II in black and white? No, just the movies. Oh. The world was all in vivid color. It was? Except for the movies. Oh, why is that? Because of, well, because they didn't have color yet for film. They didn't have color. No, they didn't have color film. And they did not have, uh, and then when they finally went to color, yeah. a large majority of the movies went to during the war. Yeah. During World War II, they- That's a long time ago. It was a very, That's very like, long time like ago. That's like 300 years ago. No, not 300 years. 300 years is a whole different time. Oh. You're not listening into history, are you? Well, they're really boring in school. Well, you know, your teacher's an idiot. That's what I said, and then she slapped me. And I wait, said, wait, 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 hold on. Your teacher slapped you. Yeah, and I said that's child abuse. You could not do that. Wait, wait, wait. You I will just, bring wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. So, yeah. When did you? When did? When did Mrs. Williamson slap you? Oh, it's usually a weekly thing. A weekly thing. One second, I'll be right back. You stay here and watch war film. Okay. I need to make a phone call to someone. Hi, can I go and get the um uh, the uh, phone number to Miss Mrs. Williamson, please? Yes, this is Miss Johansson, um, Bill's mom. Mm-hmm. Thank you, I appreciate that. 
I'm calling your teacher. Okay. Mom, do they use models in these movies? Because those look like models. They are models, sweetheart. Okay. And some, sometimes the movies are about, oh, hello, hello. Um, hi, this is uh, Mrs. Williamson. Hi, this is Mrs. Johansson. I'm going to tell you, so I know you're probably, yes, I know, it's six o'clock. Yes, I know it's the morning. I just want to tell you that you took my fucking child again. I will kill you. I will kill you fucking dead, dead, dead. I will come to your house and take your spleen and pull it through your fucking nose. You don't fuck my fucking child. You can hit any other motherfucking child. You want me to come over there and hit you the way you hit your my child? You want me to do that? Because I will, bitch. I will, bitch. I don't even fucking care anymore. You hit my motherfucking child, you will die. I got some motherfuckers in Memphis who will kill your ass. You understand me? Do you under... No, don't don't start crying on me. Don't do a caring on me, bitch. No, I don't fucking care. I will kill you. Only person who hits my child is me, and I don't even do that. So, bitch, you do that again, not only will you lose your motherfucking job, you will also lose your life. You get me? Answer me yes or no. You have a great memorial. Oh, baby, that's all fixed. Okay. You know what, Mom? Yes, baby. You're more entertaining than the war pictures. I will fight for you. Okay, so I, I shouldn't tell fight. you. I shouldn't tell you about my gym teacher who spit on me. Okay, I don't believe that because you didn't look me in the eye and say it. He spit on me. That's a half side look. Oh. You don't like Jim. <laughs> no. I'm going to give you a tip. Look at me. Baby, I will defend you until you die. But don't ever lie to me, okay? Okay. You promise? Yeah. Good. Now that we got this settled, let's go and watch to tell the truth. I like Anderson. Yes. Well, this is silly. People are just sitting around talking. Well, to tell the truth is a show, true story, that comes on ABC, and uh, I'll be on it. Shameless plug. This doesn't seem like entertainment to me. All right, we'll turn it. There, <laughs> back to work, though. Yeah. Uh, next coming up is Jackie Doodle Dandy. That's a musical. They had a musical war? Well, it's more of a story about a, a musical person who helped out during the war. Would you like to hear a song that everyone sang during the war? Okay. Okay. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle do or die, a real life nephew of my uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. I got a Yankee Doodle sweetheart. He's my Yankee Doodle Joy. A Yankee Doodle went to London just to ride the ponies. I am a Yankee Doodle Boy. Am I a Yankee Doodle? You are a Yankee Doodle. Uh -huh. You like that song? Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch that. I think that's on Netflix. Now, could, could you sing that other song? Which one? Teen Spirit. Why do you want me to sing a Nirvana song? I don't know. I heard Dad play it. He played that, and then before that, he played uh, "God Saved the Queen" by Sexy Pistols. It's the Sex Pistols. Yeah, so sing that one. I, I don't know the Sex Pistols, but I can sing "Terminal Preppy" for you from Dead Kennedys. It's not the same. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Dead Kennedys is so much better. Come on, it's Je it's a man named Jello Biafra. Here, let me turn that off. What? Mom. Yes. I would like some lime jello. Any particular reason why? Oh, because of Jello Biafra? Yeah. Okay. I'll go and get you that while I sing that song. Bye. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Doodle Dandy. Could you put whipped cream on it, Mom? I like yes, whipped cream I can. on it. I'm in my nephew and my Boom. Boom. Ba do ba do ba dum. Bum, 
Badu, 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 rip, bow, bow, bow. I go to college and it's so cool. Badu, 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 rip, bow, badu, 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 badu. And the war spins around and round and around. Rip, bow, bow, bow. Badu, badu, badu. America kind of started revolution was. Then we just oh, kept pouring all day. Over there now, oh, badu, badu, badu. It's always over there, right? Oh, badu, badu, badu. It's always over there. Over oh, there is badu, the scary badu, badu, place that keeps bow, our economy badu, 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 alive. Because it's always badu, badu, over badu, badu, there. It was there oh, in World War I and World War II, then Korea, badu, badu, then badu, 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 in the jungles badu, of badu, Vietnam. Badu, 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 we got to keep America alive. What badu, badu, country badu, are we? Join the storm next. Badu, Let's badu, get badu, out of badu, badu, Afghanistan. Badu, 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 if you can. Badu, 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 badu. It didn't start on Hamburger badu, Hill badu, badu. first. Our long ago, it didn't badu, start badu, badu, on badu. Hamburger Hill first. It's been badu, badu, Hamburger badu, Hill badu. all the time. Wow. We're Landry and Summers. And I think we got a few minutes while we go back to the other set. Yeah, we well, talk. I would like to talk to uh, Jeff. How was, Jeff, before we go, how was that? Was that relatively It fun? was hilarious. I yeah, loved it. Go. It Thank made you. what I did look like a booger. Your booger was delicious. What? Let me go to the other side. Take us out, improv guy. Give us some vision. Our, book, our boogers are delicious. Our boogers are delicious. Jeff. Yes. Where yes. Pe where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on TikTok, A-H-T-I-T-A-N. Uh, do a lot of hotel content about terrible customers. And uh, lately, just talking about anything. And uh, next, no, I mean, if you're in Marquette, Michigan next week, you can see uh, me as part of a Summer by the Lake uh, concert where I'm singing songs that are way out of my element. I usually do musicals, and next week I'm doing Jethro Tull in R.E.M. You're doing Jethro Tull, really? Yeah, skating away. I wish I was there because I don't know if you know this, I play flute. Man, can what? you get here by Tuesday? Give me a play. I got some extra credit points on uh, American. I just flew to Chicago, so I have some points. I can nice. totally flute. Uh, uh, that's how I learned how to play flute better was through Jethro Tull. Wow, that's cool. By the way, uh, when my wife and I first got together, we couldn't afford a real bed, so we had two twin beds whose frames were bracketed together, and occasionally they would come apart at inopportune moments, and that's how oh. we got our first child. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. tell, tell your story, Johnny. So when we first moved in, we had a radiator or a register. Oh. We had a 1950s single hideaway bed, a roll-out bed. And it was Excellent. so fucking small, I was like, I'll figure this out. So I yeah. pushed it next to the radiator slash radiator, all depending on where you're from, from the Midwest or East Coast. And we yeah. pushed it up against there, and I put a sheet over it and a blanket over the radiator so we would have more room. And I that slept on safe. the side. Yeah, until winter came. Yeah, that's not a fire hazard summer. in any way. Oh, and then I would burn my ass. I literally had, but before the winter came, I literally had a little roll of radiator on my backside. So, nice. yeah, I gave him the good bed, and I slept on the radiator for all uh -huh. purposes. You, had, so you had speed bumps on your derriere. And hence why we don't have any children. The heat pretty much burned my ovaries. Wow. I got dark. Yeah, I did. And quick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but no, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else going on. Two years ago, I did four shows in a row, starting with Fiddler, and, and then nothing last year at all. The Just TikTok. the drought of depression and TikTok. Well, you're and talking about Crossing. the content that you did for a Fiddler when you were doing it gave me life. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, because again, on TikTok, 
um, you can only hear the young children scream. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so I find the content that makes me laugh. That sounds like a tagline for a horror. We film. should we should learn. Yeah, we should learn some of the dances and do uh, duet each other doing them. You do you you do it really badly, and I will do it badly with you. If I were a wealthy man, wouldn't have to work hard. Classic. It is literally tradition. Is also literally one of my favorite songs. In the world. Um, I like the Hava, the Hava song is really good, and Sunrise Sunset makes my mom cry. Yeah. You know, I, I wish they would have uh, taped the Broadway shows because I would have loved to seen Zero Mostel do it. You know, they really should because not everybody can live in New York City or go to New York City and they should just figure out how to get everybody paid and film everything and put them on a st streaming service or something. Uh, there's a, and there's a, we're on Twitch right now. I know Twitch is very much about gaming um, and very much about podcast content. But for those who are younger, Yes, there needs to be a site where it's just it just says Broadway. Well, they did do that for a little while, and you can see how twisted cable has become. That was the Bravo channel used to show yeah. Broadway shows. Yes. Yeah, um, now Bravo is just uh, all uh, housewives in various cities. Uh, housewives. They literally should call it the housewives in various cities. Um, we should have we should have the housewives of Marquette, Michigan. Oh, I, I made a pasty for you, no. They should they should have a uh, they should have a housewives of Idaho. Yes. Uh, that, well, they that would, yeah, I mean just just cities you would never think housewives would yeah. be in this kind of situation. House, housewives housewives never, of Peoria. Housewives of Peoria. Yes, yeah. Homeless housewives. Housewives of suburban Minnesota. Oh yes, it's a uh, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing that you know the whole Black Lives Matter thing. That's that's housewives of thing. Duluth. The housewives of Duluth. <laughs> you, you know, if somebody sees this, they're gonna go. That's a good idea. It'll be on that's next genius. season. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. Well, uh, this is, if this is recorded, then we'll get paid, right? Because it's no. our idea. Well, no. well, we can get yeah, I mean, we could sue them, but yeah. that would be a nightmare. And you know, we could. There, how many people from from the from uh, from the Bravo channel watch Twitch? Well, not Bravo, right? Well, we'll it would just be right. another. It would just be another example of uh, uh, white uh, entertainment people stealing from a black creator and not giving them credit. I love you, ally. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I meant me. Because oh. I'm wearing a black shirt. Oh. Are you black? I don't see color. I hate you. And oh, everything you see. Caramel colored. I hate you oh, both. Oh shit, you are black. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I just I just lowered the Twitch property right now. Um, <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. There goes the neighborhood. Um, I'm so glad we're doing this comedy because I trust you too. Uh, <laughs> it's getting that time, Sean. Yeah, it's getting that time. Um, Jeff, you're a fucking dream. Uh, oh, don't it was lovely. Be, Thank you so much for inviting me. Don't ever be afraid of improv again. If you're, you're lovely, gonna, I'm gonna ask you back. You know that, right? Awesome. There's nothing like improv. There's nothing like improv. There's nothing. Click your hands. Let me get my ruby slippers. Yeah. Um. Uh, trust me. Um, you weren't any worse than Del Close. Oh, I said that out oh. loud. Um, uh, with that said, uh, there are amazing shows at the Pack Theater. Um, if you would like to see this show restreamed again, you can go and possibly maybe watch it on TikTok. Um, but maybe not because his name is there and we don't want to expose on TikTok but it will definitely be on IGTV. It will yeah, I've got a lot of weird fans on TikTok that send me DMs that include, uh, that in indicate that maybe I'm a bear, apparently. 
You mean a bear as an LGBTQIA plus? Yeah, my, my wife is concerned with how many uh, <laughs> I get from men. So it won't go on TikTok. <laughs> uh, it'll go on Grinder. It'll go. Uh, on <laughs> Uh, I need to go. How do you stream on Grinder? <laughs> oh, that's. You see how I threw that ball up so he could go and dunk that? That'll get nasty. That'll get nasty. Thank you. Thank you. I, knew, I, I just set it up so he can dunk it down. Um, Is there a Spanish language uh, streaming channel? You could call it the Senors Improv Company. I don't know. Um, we're it's really okay in Indiana. They'll spell it wrong. Exactly. But that's an inside joke. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, let's, 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 uh, we're at one past the hour, but we had a bunch of time, so I can cut this down. Um, to the end, which is there are a million great shows coming up on uh, the Pack Theater, all ending in Go Sketch Yourself at 11.59. If you do not come in at 11.58, you're going to miss the best parts of that show. There are amazing shows at the Pack Theater that you need to go and donate below right there, down there, to keep improvisational theater in Los Angeles alive. Because Lord knows I just did a Chicago tour and there's only two men standing left. We don't want that in improvisational comedy. We want theaters. There's also other stuff going on too, but I want you to donate to Venmo. And those people watching on? And those people who have watched my one lovely lady, Leah, I believe who paid for a ticket, who was hopeful watching. Um, thank you very much. All your money goes to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund because now more than ever, because now more than ever. Um, our next show will be a surprise. <laughs> Both for you and, and for us. us. As I go and ask, possibly, and I'm saying this out loud and hopefully he's watching, oh, Jonathan Pitts. The lovely time we had standing between two trees in front of Piven Theater in Northwestern, in Evanston, and planning outdoor theater. I would like to have you again on the series. I'm throwing that out into the world. Mick Napier, please do this show. Thank you so much for joining in. Jeff, I love you to death. I say it to everyone in case we die. Thank you. Love you guys. I'm Sean, I love you too. I'm Sean Landry. Tom Summers. Peace. Love. So.